What's up peeps? Welcome back to Sorrel Plays. We are talking problem hair today. You can see frizzy, knotty, thick, heavy. You can't see the split ends but I've got quite a few. Damaged hair. Ridiculous. If you have curly or uh, wavy hair you know that you can only brush it between washes. You also know that washing your hair too much is a vicious cycle because it gets even drier and then you're back to square one so this is like a weekly struggle. A couple of years ago I found a solution and I want to share it with you. Of course this isn't the only thing I do, I have to do other things, I'll talk through that in a minute but this hair mayonnaise, organic hair mayonnaise Treatment for weak, damaged hair. My hair is always damaged. I mean, various things like the elements, of course, do affect your hair. And I have recently highlighted it, which doesn't help. A lot of the time I have resorted to dyeing it um, because it does get a lot lighter in the sun and the sun does make it a lot more damaged. So I end up dyeing it brown or black and I've kind of got myself out of the dilemma by doing that until I came across the mayonnaise. I have left this in my hair for a whole day before and it bounced right back. It was silky, manageable. It lasted a long time after I did it as well. I washed it a couple of days ago, but because it's so knotty now, I can't physically brush this. So I have to wash it. So we're gonna shampoo it and we're gonna put this mayonnaise in. We're only gonna leave it in for 10 minutes but that is enough if you're doing it every two weeks. Um, don't do it more often is my advice because it makes your hair quite heavy, kind of greasy type of feel to it after you use it. But that's the point. To make your hair silkier, it has to do that. So it changes the texture of your hair completely, but it does. you can see an improvement right away. Um, I straighten my hair quite a lot because of this problem. Because once I straighten it, then I can brush it as normal, almost. Um, and it just looks tidier. So because of that, it's a lot drier and I get a lot of split ends as well. So let's go and shampoo it. Put this in for 10 minutes. And I'm also going to trim my hair today. Now, I have not been in a hairdresser's for many years because the look of dread on their faces when I walk into any hairdresser's, they do not know how to deal with this hair. If it's straightened when I walk in, they're fine with it. As soon as they wash it and they realise how terrible and how difficult my hair is, I see it. Dead inside look. Let's go. Let's get on with it. Okay, so it's washed. And you can see this would be a nightmare without the mayo. Let's start putting the mayonnaise on. So we need to try and apply it as evenly as possible. As I said, this makes your hair quite greasy, but I find that it helps with an itchy scalp, which I suffer with. And it helps with a flaky scalp. So I do put a little bit on my scalp as well. But I tried everything for an itchy head before. I mean, to the point that the doctor was trying to help me with it. And I tried tea gel and all sorts of things. That tar shampoo. That stinks. I do like the smell of tar, but not in my hair. So my worst areas is the back. So I tried to work it through as thoroughly as possible. So that it will need minimal brushing. And I find that letting your hair dry naturally, that really helps. If you've got natural curls and you want to let those curls sit as they are, I advise not brushing it or combing it after you've washed it. But during, while you have the mayonnaise, or in normal cases where you're just washing your hair, brushing it with the conditioner on it. The other tip I can give you is that don't rinse your hair with really hot water because that just makes it so much worse. Rinsing it with cold water, especially on the parts that don't touch your scalp because you can't bear to feel the cold water on your scalp. I think that really helps. 
It's got little bits in it. I'm going to put the hair trimming video as a separate video to this one in case you don't really want to see the trimming part. Is it even on? <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> We're wrapped! <laughs> Such a look. Okay, I've actually waited more than 10 minutes. It's been about 20 minutes. Get this off. I love how this smells. Now we've got the daunting task off. Brushing it. So we start with the ends. The mayonnaise does make it a lot easier to brush. I'm not gonna record the whole thing, otherwise you'll be bored stiff. I'm gonna speed this bit up. I'm gonna come back with it rinsed and show you how it looks. So I use a combination of a detangling wide tooth comb and a detangling brush and you can see I've almost got through this side I've actually rinsed the mayonnaise out I couldn't do it with the mayonnaise in because I've got no detangling lotion at the moment I buy a really good one from Avon and it really helps me out so as you can see I have to go through my hair thoroughly for all the knots to come out and within 10 minutes it'll be knotty again so that's how it looks detangled this is very painful I really should have short hair but I always go to cut it off and I have done before, cut the whole lot off, I had enough and it was very, very short. So we're almost done with this side and we've got the back and the other side to do. Oh, So you can hear it splitting and breaking as I do it. You're not supposed to brush your hair while it's wet but there's no other way I can brush it. There's no way I can brush it while it's dry. I used to struggle when I was little and my parents used to try and get my knots out. Sometimes I actually end up cutting the knots off. That's how impossible they get. And this is what I'll go through every time couple of times a week this is me and this is the kind of knots I'm talking about I'll get the white background on it look at that they're the ones I end up cutting off sometimes <laughs>
end when you know what I actually go through. Almost. That's it. We're not free. How much better does this look? Much more relaxed, not frizzy. It doesn't look like I've got too much hair now. That's good for me. I'm going to finish off with some serum. I use this olive oil serum. So I'm not going to concentrate on keeping the curls. I'm just going to go through my hair with the serum just so we keep the shine and that makes a big difference as well look at that I can always put some mousse on and scrunch it or use a diffuser if I want it really curly and that is it so will you be trying the mayonnaise out? I recommend it. Go for it. And that's the video. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one. Peace out. Okay.